Hello everybody, welcome back. This is my Tromp CX-1, or at least it used to be. This is the Tron CX-1 printer. Uh, I bought this a little while back and uh, I've extended it now so that it has a one foot by two, two foot build area. That is 300 by 650 millimeters. Um, my design goals for this printer was for it to be big, cheap, and simple. And I think for the most part, I've achieved that. Uh, I actually went to the Midwest RepRap Festival this last weekend and uh, I've gotten a lot of good feedback on it, a lot of good comments. and. Those are the three things that people really liked about it. It was eye-catchingly big, and people really were attracted to the fact that it was simple using this cantilever design. And uh, I couldn't be any happier with how good it, how good it's turned out for how big it is and how cheap it is. Uh, again, very happy with how it's turned out, and I'm, I'm happy to see what people do with it in the future. All right, so the one thing that I really like about what I call RepRap Jupiter is its possibilities. So. There's, because it's open source, it's all, uh, and it's simple, anybody can upgrade it how they want it, but uh, something that I found on possibilities is um, when you have such a big build volume, your mind starts to think of ways that you can uh, utilize that build volume. So when you're CAD modeling something, you actually aren't con constrained within your 8 inch by 8 inch build volume, but now you're thinking, how can I print an entire sword in one piece? Or when you're designing, say, uh, a robot arm or something, you're saying, how can I design one piece that will be rigid, it'll be simple, it'll be easy to make, and it's simple. And uh, I think that it's just a better way of designing because now you're not confined so much in a small build area, but you know that you have to work with a, a much larger build volume. So that's what I really like about this printer for that reason. Uh, I will actually be posting all of the build, all of the build files online somewhere. Uh, it's all going to be completely open source. And I hope that people can use this uh, in a very constructive way. I think it has a lot of possibility. But um, to make it easier, I'm also going to be posting uh, build guides on my YouTube channel uh, on how I did it, what I would do differently, and things along, the, uh, along those lines. All right, so to sum up this whole printer design, I would say that really it's just the big, cheap, simple printer that I had an idea about and I decided to put into, uh, into reality. I think it's been a really, really fun project. I would encourage anyone else to do it. I'm going to be helping people along the way uh, if they have any questions. I'm going to be posting, like I said, files, uh, a build guide, firmware, all the, all the type of thing. Um, but like I said, it's just a, a, a great build to do. It's a lot of fun. Uh, this is actually my third iteration of the printer. Uh, I've made a few different design choices along the way, and I think the fourth iteration will be the per perfection of the printer. So. Um, I'm going to make another video on this of how I built it, going, making some close-up shots on some of these extrusions, some of the V-wheels, the laser cut base, things like that. Uh, but there's a lot more videos coming uh, your way on this printer specifically, and uh, really on all kinds of different printers that I'm working on. So stay tuned for that. If you like this kind of stuff, uh, subscribe because I'll be posting more of it. Like the video, uh, and leave a comment. I'm always willing to take suggestions and um, questions on these kind of things. Uh, I'll be making a GitHub and a Thingiverse page very soon, so uh, I'll leave those in the links in the description. So stay tuned for all that, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So thanks.